Crater Lake, one of this country's most stunning displays of nature, is located in southern Oregon, nestled atop the Cascade Mountains approximately 100 miles east of the Pacific Ocean. The natives revered the lake in the surrounding area, keeping it undiscovered until 1853, when the first known European Americans, three gold prospectors looking for a lost mine, came upon a long sloping mountain. Upon reaching its highest point, a huge awe-inspiring lake was visible. This is the bluest lake we've ever seen, they reported, and named it Deep Blue Lake. The dramatic color is due to the depth, purity, and clarity of the lake and the way light interacts with it. The longer wavelengths of light, notably the yellows, reds, and greens, are absorbed by water molecules, while the shorter wavelengths of light are easily scattered and bounced to the surface, creating the spectacular shades of blue the lake has become famous for. The caldera, where the lake now exists, was created around 5600 BC, when Mount Mazama collapsed after a large and violent eruption that spewed ash and debris for miles around. The mountain, which stood over 11,000 feet high at the time, lost some 9,000 feet of elevation in the collapse and forever changed the face of the local landscape. The eruptive period that decapitated Mazama produced more than 150 times as much ash as the May 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens. Over a period of approximately 740 years, the caldera filled with water as the surrounding area continued to evolve. Crater Lake is approximately five miles wide and surrounded by sheer cliffs that tower 2,000 feet above the lake surface at the highest point. The caldera holds 5 trillion gallons of water and covers 20.6 square miles. At 1,943 feet, Crater Lake is the deepest lake in the United States, the second deepest in North America, and the seventh deepest in the world. However, when comparing its average depth of 1,148 feet to the average depth of other deep lakes, Crater Lake becomes the deepest in the Western Hemisphere and the third deepest in the world. As a young man in Kansas, William Gladstone Steele read in the newspaper of an unusual lake in Oregon. The story sparked Steele's imagination, and he vowed to see the lake for himself someday. Two years after first learning of the lake, he moved with his family to Portland, Oregon, but it was another 13 years before he finally laid eyes on Crater Lake. The year was 1885, and he was so moved by what he saw, he spent the next 17 years on a quest to see Crater Lake become a national park. To bring recognition to the park, he participated in lake surveys that provided scientific support and named many of the lake's landmarks, including Lau Rock, Skell Head, and Wizard Island. His dedication paid off and his dream was realized on May 11, 1902, when President Theodore Roosevelt signed the bill giving Crater Lake national park status. While the lake and lodge are the ultimate destination for most guests to the park, there are many other sites to see along the way. If you like hiking, there are over 90 miles of trails leading to some of the most breathtaking waterfalls in the Northwest. The trails vary in degree of difficulty and access, so you get to choose your own adventure as you go. The Pacific Crest Trail also passes through the park. This 2,650 mile long hiking and equestrian trail stretches from the Mexican to Canadian border. Observation points along the Caldera Rim are easily accessible by car via Rim Drive, which is 33 miles long and has an elevation gain of 3,800 feet. Another interesting feature you'll see as you continue your ascent to the lake is the Pumice Desert. This fascinating expanse, reminiscent of a lunar landscape, appears out of nowhere and is a stark contrast to the surrounding forest of Lodgepole Pine. When Mount Mazama erupted, avalanches of heated rock were ejected and flowed downhill to the glacial valley below. The porous rocks, mostly pumice and scoria, discharged gases that pushed the flow out of the mountain and down the hillside, covering an area of about five and a half square miles. From October to June, Crater Lake National Park is a snow-covered wilderness. With snow still lingering on the ground in early July, Winter defines Crater Lake National Park more than any other season. 
Snowfall averages 533 inches annually, and by early spring it is typical to have 10 to 15 feet of snow on the ground. This generous amount of snow is very important to the water supply, as there are no inlets or outlets to the lake. While snowfall is common in the Cascade Mountains, Crater Lake National Park is one of the snowiest areas in the northwest. Winter temperatures range from 19 to 35 degrees Fahrenheit. Summer temperatures typically reach a high of 65 degrees, with overnight lows in the 30s. While there are plenty of sunny days where sunglasses and a fishing pole are great accessories, this is one lake you won't need your bikini for.